Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Mercury Retrograde. So Mercury Retrograde is a three week occurrence. The first day is July 26th. So you guys are probably wondering what Mercury Retrograde is and how this affects you and I'm going to tell you guys all of the details. So basically Mercury appears to be going backwards and in retrograde in the atmosphere when it's actually not going backwards, it's just it's an optical illusion that actually appears that it's moving backwards throughout the constellations. So that's where it gets the retrograde name. So during Mercury retrograde, it can be a, kind of a transitional uh, psychological time where like you might be very highly in tune with it and you also might have no idea it's even happening. It kind of depends on where your spirituality is and where your energy sits and lies within you. Um, but someone like me, I feel it like pretty much within like a few days before it actually starts. I know retrograde's happening, my body starts to feel it, I start to like get all of these like symptoms and signs that it's going to start happening. So some of the things that you might experience during retrograde can be memory loss, um, feeling of like chaoticness and craziness around you, you feel like your energy is dragging, um, a lack of common sense, feeling foggy, having a high emotional insecurity where you're feeling very like uneasy and un unrested. Um, a lot of frustration, losing things, dropping things, breaking things, things just overall is like not going your way. And then a big one is uh, miscommunication. So communication is a huge thing that happens during retrograde where like there seems to be a very big disconnect and a very big loss of communication with people, with yourself. So it's a very high energy time where a lot of things are going on and a lot of craziness starting to happen. So you start to feel kind of this overwhelm and I know I feel it hugely. I feel very like frustrated and like stressed out and like oh like everything's just like up here and it's a time where you really need to start to like ground yourself out and to find some balance in yourself and in your life. So I'm going to teach you guys some of my tips and tricks on how to do this, some stones, some essential oils that are going to help with this journey because goodness knows we certainly need some assistance during this time. If you guys aren't already following this channel, please be sure to subscribe down below you guys and give this video a thumbs up if you're liking these tips and tricks. And without further ado, I'll share with you guys some more great info about Mercury Retrograde. So something really big to think about when you're moving into retrograde is to think of the RE, so the RE in retrograde. So think about the RE word as in what words start with RE. So it can be things like renew, reevaluate, recenter, receive, regenerate, release. Anything that kind of starts with RE, it's a time to start reflecting and actually start thinking about these things. So it may seem very overwhelming, and I know in my first few retrogrades where I wasn't really aware of what this time actually meant. I was feeling very lost and very like out of sorts of myself and like I literally couldn't feel like I could even do anything. I just felt like I just wanted to like bury my head in the sand because there's so much going on you just want to like bury your head in the sand and just like not deal with anything. So it's a really great time to really reestablish yourself and re like renew yourself and revitalize all of your energy and just be like okay let's just like look inwards look at my life look and focus on these things that i can start to improve and to better on and to work on during this transitional period you should be doing this all of the time but sometimes when energy shifts like it does right now with retrograde it's a really amazing time to start to look at those things and really like when you're feeling this slump of like your energy is like in a totally different place why don't you put that energy into really like looking inwards instead of being negative and stressed out and frustrated with the experience and with the energy pull. Start to use that to be like, hey, like how can I really improve on who I am in this process? So it's said all the time that you should never make big, big, big decisions during retrograde. You should never like sign contracts, buy a house, uh, change jobs, sign any type of like a financial agreement. Um, life, of course, does always continue to turn and turn and you have to do these things and you sometimes have to do big decisions. But it's really important if you are making any big decisions, signing any documents or contracts or anything like that, 
that you really take time to review and go through these things thoroughly and not rush anything, not jump the gun, take lots of time to really think these things over and really take it in instead of just jumping and doing it. Um, yet again, it's just the energy pull is just so strong that it can make you do decisions and make you change things in your life that you actually wouldn't have changed if it wasn't for the retrograde happening. But next tip is allow more time. So instead of feeling like you're like, you know, you're normal running around, rushing around, you're running late for this, running late for that, give yourself time to really just have extra time to get there. Allow yourself that extra time to get to the airport, to get to that appointment. Because it seems like in retrograde all these things pop up and like roadblocks and obstacles occur all the time. And maybe it's just coincidence or it's the power of the mind thinking that, you know, you're in retrograde so you're going to see all these changes, but it's just something that happens. So allow yourself more time. Remember to pause and breathe before you react in a conversation. So communication is a huge thing that happens in retrograde and it's a big miscommunication loss of time. So really, like, try and take in what people are saying, pause, take a breath, and then respond to them instead of being so quick to respond because your energy is not really quite in the same place it normally would be. And then the final tip would be for you guys to just practice forgiveness and appreciation for yourself and don't be so hard on yourself during this time because this three weeks it seems a little chaotic and crazy and the last thing you need to be doing is like beating yourself up and being like I can't believe I'm so unmotivated, I can't believe I'm dropping everything, I can't believe my memory is like gone to crap, like don't be hard on yourself, don't stress yourself out, just be patient and love yourself. Now let's talk about some of my favorite essential oils and stones you guys can use to assist your life. So essential oils are an amazing thing that you can add into your daily life. They're so amazing for emotional well-being, physical well-being, stress, all of these things that happen in life. They're just amazing for managing a lot of things and helping to manage a lot of things. So I personally love essential oils. I use them every single day. So getting a diffuser or even getting essential oils that are safe to apply to your body is super important. Check out my other videos if you guys want to know more about essential oils. I won't dive too, too much into the, the science behind them. But I'll dive into some of the oils that I really do enjoy using during re retrograde because there's just... The whole idea, personally for me, is that you want to balance out your energy. You want to ground yourself. You want to get emotional support from these things. So it will help you cope with the constant energy buzz that's happening in retrograde. So becoming grounded and calm and secure in the place that you are is the most important thing, I think, for retrograde. Especially for me, because I really struggle with like feeling like I'm scattered when this happens. And so some of the essential oils I like personally is a lot of a lot of tree essential oils, a lot of like herbal essential oils. So one of my personal favorites during this time is Ylang Ylang. Great for neutralizing negativity, relaxation, and calming. So it's a beautiful, beautiful oil from a flower and it smells so good. So next essential oil is myrrh. It supports spiritual and emotional well-being. Then of course frankincense is another one of like my absolute must. Like I don't live a day without it. And frankincense is so grounding. It's so beautiful. It's so great for supporting a healthy immune function. It is so amazing for like the oil for everything. So like using it to meditate and calm and bring down your mind is it's such a beautiful oil for that. The next one is majorum. So majorum is another oil that is super calming to the nervous system. Um, it helps with mental and emotional patterns. So helping to release any of the patterns that you create in life and then the habits that you get into it will actually help to allow you to find release and relaxation in those feelings. Lemongrass is another oil. It is known for its renewing and refreshing properties. So it helps to kind of revitalize that energy. So you're trying to like start a whole new you and trying to revamp yourself and trying to work on yourself. So it kind of gives you like that like new perspective and just like invigorating your body to be like, yes, like it's time for a change. Helps with your attitude and helps with self-limiting beliefs. And then some of my personal favorites that I love to use, I love to meditate with when I do Mercury Retrograde work. I always try to do yoga and meditation, so I incorporate my oils into that. So I love anything that's really grounding and earthy. So like sandalwood, cedarwood, spruce, cypress, um, arborvitae, anything that really like helps to like make you feel grounded to the earth and to that energy. It's just beautiful. So those are my favorite essential oils for assisting with Mercury Retrograde. And then some of the stones that I really like is anything um, that is a dark green rich grounding color and also anything that's blue. I find that these stones work really well for me. Stones are something that you want to be using 
to assist your body in creating a healthy energy field. A lot of dark stones, like a dark black, like black tourmaline, hematite, uh, tiger's eye, carnelian I've heard as well. I personally am never, not really overly drawn to dark stones. I find that I'm a lot more drawn to like greens and blues and then obviously quartzes and stuff. So I, I personally really like um, blue calcite. Blue calcite is like an amazing and beautiful stone with so many properties that you can have in your home. I keep this pretty much everywhere to help ground out and balance my energies. Um, green fluorite is another amazing stone for this time for retrograde. So any type of fluorite, but green fluorite personally is my favorite. Helps balance thinking, improves concentration, organizes your thoughts, and pretty much any color will work for retrograde. You don't have to have a green one, I just personally like green. Another stone is Amazonite. Amazonite brings harmony in communication. So communication, like I said before, is very, very tough during this time. Um, Aquamarine, this is the stone that I'm wearing on my neck right now, enhances clear communication. So it is an amazing stone for, it's like a crazy, crazy high vibration stone. So it's really, really good for communication, for high energy, for allowing you to communicate how you feel clearly but also to share your opinion and not be fearful and afraid it's very connected with the throat chakra it is an amazing stone for clarity um, just personally I know that because I use it and wear it all the time but I only wear it for certain durations because it is so high energy that it can actually be a little bit overwhelming to wear but during retrograde I believe that it's like the stone I need to wear all the time other stones that are really good are stones like Blue Lace Agate, which helps improve clear, calm communication. Also stones like Emerald, which will help smooth communication and organize activities and plans. So that's kind of overall the stones. Pretty much, you guys, just find what works for you. Find which stones are kind of your jam. You'll be drawn to them. Your body will call you to a stone. Like, never pick a stone. Just allow your body to just... Your energy to just draw you and your body to just draw you to it. That's how I buy all of my stones. I don't go looking for blue lace agate. I go into a store and I get sucked right into something. And that is the best way you can buy stones. It's the best tip I have for you guys on buying any type of stones to add into your home, into your life, into your jewelry. It's amazing. So that is pretty much my tips and tricks for you guys on how to get through Mercury Retrograde. It is a crazy time, but remember to be kind to yourself. Use these tips and tools and these essential oils and stones to help ground you, help find harmony in your body. And I promise you, if you just intentionally focus on bettering and improving yourself, you will actually get there and it will support you and it will help. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.